Hey everybody, this is Mark with M&M Adventures and uh, I am up in beautiful Colorado. It's actually where we live, but we're up by uh, Hans Peak, which is above Steamboat Springs, above Steamboat Lake. Really pretty area here. Sun's probably gonna not do me justice, but uh, a little bit of snow on the ground. It's middle, late October and uh, they got some snow here. Actually, I think it's been a couple weeks ago, but it was like 21 inches, so it's not all melted yet, but I had some time. I'm actually up here getting ready to go elk hunting and uh, had a little bit of time to kill, so I thought I'd make some videos regarding our camper. So uh, I'm gonna make this quick, hopefully, maybe not, but uh, been asked about our solar setup on top of our Eagle Cap 1165. So, uh, gonna show you a little bit about that. Video is gonna be cut up a little just so I can uh, use the camera at a different uh, angle and everything. You can see there's two solar panels up here. Um, they're they're made by Renogy, R O N O G Y. Uh, I can't tell you the model. You have to go out and look them up, but. Uh, I bought them last year, they're about a year old, and at the time they were new, I believe, and they were a little bit smaller than the past um, panels that I bought for our other motorhome. Uh, but they're 100 watt, 12 volt, and uh, uh, as you can see, they fit pretty nicely on the top of the camper, kind of, uh, well, I like this layout, side by side here. Um, Eagle Cap actually, provided that solar ready connector on the roof so I just had to plug those four cables in uh, from the two panels and as you can see I kind of ran the ran the wire from the one over here that direction uh, brackets are included uh, put those in put obviously sealing around them and uh, you can see on there it says Renogy. Anyways, um, that's the setup on the panels. Uh, these things are amazing as far as uh, keeping the camper charged. Uh, if you're not familiar with this camper, everything in it for the most part runs on DC by default. So all the lights are LED, so they don't use much power. It has two TVs in it and a stereo and DVD player and all of that are DC direct so they're not they don't even have an AC plug they're actually DC TVs which is really cool you don't have to have a, a converter or an inverter I always get those mixed up but um, so there's not a huge drain on power to begin with and if you've got any Sun I, I mean we've gone seven days out in the middle of nowhere with uh, not running the generator except maybe to use the microwave for a couple minutes and we've every day the the batteries are fully charged for the most part uh, and that includes watching a movie at night probably almost every night when we're out and about so I know we're supposed to be camping and we're watching movies but um, so be it anyways uh, that's what it looks like from the top I did call eagle cap and they did tell me um you know give me an idea on how to mount them they had a different idea they actually wanted them mounted more um up and down so like this um on each side of the vent and i didn't want that so i mounted them differently you could actually and the reason they wanted that is there's something you can bite into a little more on the edge there there's maybe a metal piece i believe um, I'll be honest I put these in they have not um, I mean they're sturdy they're not they're not they don't even budge an inch um, when you move them so I'm not really worried about that uh, so that's what it looks like from the roof I'll go ahead and uh, make another video inside where I have the panel and everything and give you some more details all right onto the inside of the camper for the continuation on the solar so this is the panel I bought it's a go power and uh, I don't know if it has a model number but if you go online it's a uh, it's a 30 amp uh, what you're gonna see here though is the batteries are at 13.9 volts sorry for the glare 
there the panels are only putting out 2.7 i think that's partly because i'm in the shade and partly because it's full there you can see the batteries are 100 percent um i just drove up here so that's not surprising they weren't run down obviously the truck charged them but um i've seen as high as 13 amps which is about right because i think they're rated it's just under 13 amps i think the Panels are rated at 6.5 amps per panel. I could be wrong. I, I'm giving you guys uh, information that might be stale or I might just not have remembered it. But easy enough for you guys to look that up and make your own decision. Um, but that's the panel. The wiring, that spot where that's mounted was marked. And when we opened the wall up right there, cut out, um, the cables that came from the roof and from the um, panel underneath were ready to go. Uh, we did have to do a little bit of troubleshooting to determine which end was which from, you know, to roof to, to tier and then from here to, to down below. And there are a couple modifications you have to get from Eagle Cap to finalize everything, but it wasn't very hard if you're at all mechanically inclined or have any electrical experience. It shouldn't be a big deal. I enlisted my father-in-law who did electrical for 30 years and he was uh, able to get me squared away pretty quick but anyways that's what that looks like uh, I talked about the other stuff you know the the radio or stereo with DVD in it is right there um, it has Bluetooth and everything it's all DC powered and then it's got a 32 inch TV right there and that again if we go to the side here just to show you um, power this little cord right here, which you can see is, is a typical like DC cord. That's the power plugged in. Sorry, the video sucks, but uh, back in there, that's the only power for this thing. So it goes dr directly to batteries, which is cool. Same with the one in the back. Uh, that's uh, the scoop on the solar. Uh, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them for you. Thanks.